hey welcome guys so today we'll see that how you can search an element in a sorted array by using the binary search ways so a binary search way is is better than the brute force because in brute force uh, the complexity is big of n but in binary search the complexity is big of log n but the first condition is your array should be sorted then only we can apply the binary search right so for example this so this array is sorted array 12 34 45 65 and 83 and we want to search an element here so first time creating the object so this is my object and now i have created a search index and basically i want to retrieve the index where the particular value exists right for example 84 so 84 exists at fourth index so i want to retrieve at the fourth and let's see if you want to ask the index of 45 so that is 2 so I want I want the index as my answer right so what we do in binary search binary search as, as you can see binary means 0 or 1 it means we are uh, will divide the things will divide the one array into two array then again the individual array into two array two array until we find a start is greater than end so I will do it let's see it so this is my function search index so what all i am passing first i am passing my array which is a then i am passing the value which i want to search then i am passing the starting index which is zero and then i am passing the last index which is a dot length minus one all right so this is my end which i am calling this is my end this is start this is a value which i want to search and this is my a right and now let's see the function how i am doing so first i am checking that if your length is if your array length is zero it means simply return minus one means there is no there is nothing to search if your array is zero now i will uh, i will tell it later but first see so first uh, these are basically index this is starting index and this is end index so i am taking the middle of both index right so basically like in this case we have 5 so 0 plus 4 divided by 2 which is 2 so the middle index is 2 so now we are checking that if value equals to equals to a of middle which is the middle value it means first we are checking that if value contains 45 or not because this is my middle so if it says yes so we simply return the middle index right if it doesn't then what we do we check that if our value is less than this one and because if because we are sure if our value is less than the middle one it means if it means our value exists in this part but if our value doesn't exist in this one it means our value exists in this one right so so like here our value is 84 and our middle is 43 so here we are checking if 84 is if 84 is less than this 43 no which is not so it means then it will go in this portion so again recursively we are calling the a then value then start so this was for start till mid minus one right and this will go till mid plus one to end because middle value we have already checked so now we'll go in the left this is for the left one and this is for the right one so as per our value this will go in either one of function either one of recursive code right so like for our case because uh, this 83 is greater than 45 so now it will go in this one right so this will go uh, so the middle plus one is three so it will go three to four now again when it will call recursively so it will say yes 3 is uh, 3 is not greater than 4 so it would it won't go into this so again it will call mid so mid is 3 plus 4 upon 2 which is 3 again so our mid is 3 now we are again we are checking that if value is a mid which is not now again value is less than a middle which is 3 so what is a3 a3 is 65 so which is not so it means it will go in else so now again a value and mid plus one so mid, mid is 3 right mid is 3 and so it will go 4 and end is 4 
इट मीन्स बोथ स्टार्ट एंड एंड आर इक्वल नाउ राइट सो नाउ अगेन इट विल चेक दैट इफ आर वैल्यूज इफ स्टार्ट इज ग्रेटर देन एंड सो वॉट इज मिडिल 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 वॉज थ्री फोर सो वी के वील से नो स्टिल स्टिल इट विल गो हेयर सो नाउ मिड मिड इज मिड इज स्टार्ट प्लस एंड अपॉन टू विच इज फोर प्लस फोर अपॉन टू विच इज फोर सो नाउ वैल्यू इक्व टू ए मिड सो यस हेयर आवर इंडेक्स इज मैचिंग सो हेयर वैल्यूज आर इक्वल एंड इट विल सिंपली रिटर्न अ मिड राइट सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन गेट आवर इंडेक्स बिकॉज वी आर बाइनरी बिकॉज वी आर ट्रैकिंग बाइनरी सो यू कैन सी दैट वी डेंट गो फर्स्ट वी चेकड हेयर देन वी चेक ओनली दिस पोर्शन वी डेंट गो इन दिस पोर्शन बिकॉज वी आर श्योर दैट आवर वैल्यू एग्जिस्ट इन दिस पोर्शन राइट सो दैट इज हाउ ओके सॉरी या सो दैट इज हाउ आई कैन सर्च एन एलिमेंट इन बाइनरी using binary search and in a sorted way but let's say if you have an element which doesn't exist in your array so let's say any element so let's say 8 right so in this case what will happen okay first debug this this case okay so and let's say i'm checking so i have seen 83 so first take the very simple case which is 45 and let's debug it so that you will understand how i am doing this okay so this is my function now go here so f5 now you can see my value is 45 and start and then end is 4 right now it will check it want to go into this now middle so middle is 2 and value is 45 and this a mid is again 45 right so now it will say yes and it will simply return middle so our i is 2 it means our index is 2 right so this is how we will do but uh, let's say my this value is 65 so again we'll go to debug and here we'll go here so now middle is again 2 but value is 64 and middle is 2 so it will it want to go here now it will go in this one so again it will call now our start is 3 and end is 4 okay again it will go here now our middle is 3 so now it will match here and it will simply return 3 and recursively it will return 3 so our index is 3 right so it's giving me the index and but let's say if your value doesn't exist in array so what will happen go here now go here it says 6 is less than a middle which is 45 then it will go here and now our start is 0 and end is 1 okay again it will call now again it will call so our start is 0 and end is minus 1 now this condition comes here that if start is greater than end yes which is uh, which is happening here but start cannot be greater than end right but so this will ha- this will only happen when our element doesn't exist in array right so in this case it will return minus 1 and here it will return minus 1 and if you print this so it will give you value doesn't exist in array so we have covered almost all the cases uh, negative cases as well as the positive cases so that's it for this tutorial and so thanks thanks for watching the video and please subscribe the channel for more such videos so thank you